Okay, so that doesn't go there. He's just trying to get a rise out of you. You know what can use a rise is your tire pressure. How about you go practice CPR on a dummy or something, huh? <laughs> just let me know when you're available, Strictly. Oh, so I'm a dummy now. He passed okay. one test, now I'm the dummy. Can I see your first time? Huh? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> so, I know I was out with the bump when you started, so first I just want to say, I think it's really great you're riding with us now. Oh, thanks. Me too. And the fact that you willingly gave up your seat at the cool kids' table to hang out with the geeks, that gets all respect. I don't know what that means. Tim had this theory that the firehouse is basically a high school cafeteria. Firefighters are the jocks, we're the science nerds with peanut allergies. I didn't realize there was a class divide at the 126. <laughs> cool kids never do. So anyway, we need to talk about how we stock the bucks. Why, is, is something wrong? Well, kind of everything. Nothing is where it's supposed to be. I, I don't think that's right. Yeah, it kind of is. Tim and I had a system. Oh, right, sorry, I, um, I changed the system. You changed the system? Yeah, I read this article about clustering high-use items to help with response times, and Captain Vega was really into it. She was? Mm -hmm. Like, I moved the 18-gauge needles away from the 20s. Why? So nobody accidentally grabs the wrong one out in the field. That's literally never happened. And now it never will. Well, it might, since I don't know where anything is now. Oh. Right, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, we could go back to the old system that you and Tim used. You said Captain Vega's really into this? I mean, she liked the initiative. I'm sure I'll get used to it. Yeah, you know, just live in it for a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you'll find your way around, and I am here to help. Cool. Cool. Living it for a minute. 